Hello, this is a review of the Sharper Image Massage Cushion with Air Compression, Shiatsu Massage, and Heat. So, this is the box that you see here. Flip it around. The chair is outside of it, otherwise it wouldn't be um, this light. And what you get inside the box is, of course, the massage chair cushion itself, which we'll look at more closely in a moment. And, of course, you get a instruction book um, some various literature and basically they give you a little allen wrench and a screw that comes built into the chair that you're going to want to you're going to have to remove before the first time you use it so all the way back down here there's this little screw hole here which will come with a screw inside basically it comes with this pamphlet that screw and they give you an allen wrench connected to it whatever you do do make sure you remove the screw before you turn it on for the first time let's take a closer look at the chair itself so the chair is this here. It has a foam cushion on the bottom, which is just your standard foam. Um, it has a flap here, which is optional, so you can fold back the flap. And it's actually Velcro's up here at the top, so you'll be able to completely remove it if you prefer. It gives you a harder massage without this there, um, although I much prefer it always with, with the cushion here. Um, because right behind here will be the actual rollers, and this adds a layer of buffer. Um, but beware, one of the things that I noticed right away is uh, when I sat on it, my back would cause friction against this, and it would start to tug at the Velcro at the top. So I'd hear the Velcro cracking, crackling a little bit as it would come up, and it would start to loosen. Here are the airbags, which I'll show you in motion later, um, that they inflate. Um, of course, here's the remote control that we have here. And it has a few modes, so obviously here's the main power button you use to turn, turn things on right there. Then you press the Shiatsu button, which then enables you to use any one of these three settings, so upper back, lower back, or scroll the whole back. Then you can choose optional heat, click that to have optional heat on or off, which honestly, for me, I could barely feel the heat. I didn't even know if it was working, it felt so uh, um, lukewarm um, at best. It almost seemed like the friction alone of moving up and down caused heat that I had to keep asking my wife, I go, is this even on? Um, so I was rather unimpressed with the heat quality of that. Um, then you have the air cushions that we were just talking about um, that you can turn up three levels of intensity. So you press it on and then you can go up, up to three settings if you like. And I rather like the feel. It gives you a squeeze from the side um, and you can just choose the intensity for you. Now you're supposed to be able to slide the remote in from this other end here, but I never found it very convenient to do so, so I just would normally um, leave the remote out. And lastly, it has a power cord, uh, which comes with a tie. It seems plenty long enough, but honestly, I just use an extension cord to run it however long I, I want it. I just ran it over the back of a couch. Um, one other thing to mention is it does come with a um, strap to, to carry, a carry strap. It's also adjustable. You notice it's, it's Velcro here, so you can adjust it. Now it has zippers all over the place, but I don't believe you're ever intended to unzip them. All the ends of the zippers, you'll notice on the other end, they're all like inverted so that it's really inaccessible. But it's fairly light um, for carrying this around. I rather liked that it seemed like you could tote it, store it in a closet easy enough. Uh, you can fold this up and store it in a closet. By the way, in terms of product packaging, when this thing was originally shipped and put in the box, I was really disappointed at first. Um, as far as any item in its price category that I've ever opened in recent memory, normally it feels, oh, this looks nice, but this thing was packaged rather poorly and left two defects in it that whether or not they're really a defect is debatable, but I was rather disappointed out of the gate of them. So basically, it comes packed with this thing smashed up like this. So it just comes folded up and you're like, big deal, but they didn't take any care to how it folded. So notice on the left here how it pushes this in. This, where it happened to fold there wasn't a big deal because this has more structure in it with the airbag. This didn't have as much. But over here, what they did when they compressed it is it pushed this up. So if I go like this, um, it caused this to push up and this has a thicker structure in it here and it bent this. So basically what it means is two things. One, in the default sitting position, you're constantly having to push this right one out of your way when you go to sit down because it never naturally will sit out of its way. It's one of those things that I hoped would lessen with the inflating and deflating of the airbags, but 
just hasn't done that. So it's honestly not that big of a deal, but every time you sit down, you're just going to sit against it unless you hold that to the side. I was disappointed with that. Secondly is, it's hard to tell because this one bounced back a lot more. Because this was pressed up so hard against this harder structure right here, it actually left an indent in the cushion that was fairly permanent. You can kind of see it here. At first, when it was out of the box for the entire first day, it was just paper thin. You know, I could sit here and lift it, and it just didn't have the fluff that it did on the other side. It still doesn't to this day. Um, so it's much thicker over here, um, a little bit thinner over here, but um, after two weeks it has bounced back a bit more. That was just rather disappointing. It's not a deal breaker, um, but I have to say the out of the box experience uh, was disappointing for that reason that it came all crunched up. Now at my house, it really did fit in about any chair and you actually get a different feel depending on how inclined you wanna go. Cause basically the more inclined you are, the more of your weight is pushing against the rollers and therefore the harder it feels against you. So it's going to be partly preference. So this is a straighter back chair. And so it was a little bit softer to the touch, um, but for me it was, was decent um, at that for what it does. But what I prefer to do is be able to watch my television. So when I want to watch my television, I want to sit on the couch. So this is the second place we can put it. It inclines a little bit more, but this one actually still worked pretty well. So let's get ready to turn it on. The first thing that I had to keep remembering to do is I had to keep this tucked in the back here, otherwise I would sit, sit on it and it would cause it to tug right off from up there or start partly come loose. So do that, then um, make sure you push this to the side, go ahead and sit down and let's turn it on. So I hit the power button and then you can pick which mode. You got the shiatsu mode, you're always gonna wanna use shiatsu, I think. So it's gonna by default go to the full mode you can optionally turn on heat, and I can turn on the airbags as well. So let's go ahead and turn on air massage, and you can see them starting to close up on the sides. I can choose additional levels. Um, obviously when you're sitting, it feels a lot more, so it's pretty taut right here. Flip this up, we can see what's going on inside the back. By the way, there's a sticker here, and this thing just keeps peeling off. I don't know if where they were supposed to leave it there, um, but I noticed that that thing kept coming off. Now these aren't hot to the touch. So these are just red lead lights, by the way. Um, I don't know if they're at all to do with an actual heating element, or I don't know if they're heating just from the lead lights alone, um, but I think it's just so that you can see them. So that's what you're seeing there. Basically, you know, you have a bigger bump right here on the, where the two lights come together. There's a bigger bump, and then there's a smaller bump there, and it feels like fingers, you know, rotating. There is a slight pause at the top, you notice, when it went switched to go up to down mode. So it's not a completely fluent motion from that perspective. Now you can't control the direction that they spin. They're going to always be spinning in this direction, whether or not the heat supposedly is on or not, which again, I can't even feel um, the heat. Honestly, I, it's, it is not hot whatsoever. When I try to put my hand to this, I do not feel heat from those or anywhere else. By the way, they tell you do not use this with a blanket. So you might be tempted to sit down and relax and throw a, a blanket over yourself while you're doing this, but um, the manual um, suggests or says that you cannot. Now, comparing this to another seat cushion that I have over here, a massage cushion, this one is a full back. I really wanted one that would traverse my back because with this one, what you ended up having to do is you'd move it to here and then you'd kind of shift to let it slide down again. Um, and they, they, cause they don't move up and down within this, but you could move it around. Um, so that's why I was really looking for a full back massage cushion. Now these are a bit bigger, um, in terms of rotating factors that you can see the fingers behind there, uh, than this, but that really wasn't a determining factor. In the end, I really think it is the best of this kind of massage chair. So the kind that can fit on top of an existing couch or existing chair. I tried a number of different ones out there. I tried Hometics and the Sharper Images ones, and I really liked this one at the time doing the comparison. But what really matters is when I come home at the end of the day, if I want to sit down and relax, is this thing something that really helps me relax and makes my muscles feel great at the end of the day? And the bottom line is, it really didn't make a difference. Um, I did not feel any better having sat in the chair. It just felt like I was doing something different, sitting in a different chair. Um, I could have been just as fine without the chair. Um, I like the fact that it moved the full back. Um, this one at least can be moved around, run on your legs, you can use it on your feet, um, gives you other kinds of flexibility. But with this one, um, I think it's a decent chair, but it holds it at three stars at best for me. It's not bad, 
but it's also not great. It just didn't solve the relaxing and relaxing of my muscles problems that I was looking for. Thanks for watching the review.